Where did right. you then start to want to play music? Like, did you guys know a piano as a kid? Like, did your parents make you do it? Like, like and then uh, Bay, how the hell did you get stuck with bass? <laughs> you know what? I used to play guitar in the beginning. Really? And we couldn't find the bass player. And I was like, fuck it, I'll play bass. You, pl- you reported to duty. <laughs> but my mom, my mom's the one that bought us our first guitar. <laughs> I think it was uh, fourth or fifth grade. I was in elementary school, and uh, this lady walks in and she's like, "Hey, we're going to be doing music lessons, and are any you kids want to play music?" And I was one of the kids. Raises hand, "Hey, me, me, I want to play." And uh, so I'm like, "Okay, you know." And, and I, I, I remember uh, I started off playing trumpet actually back then. And uh, you know, they take us to the auditorium and they had a stage and everything. And, <laughs> It was an auditorium, but, you know, the cool thing is, somehow, I don't know how the fuck, but I actually learned how to read notes back then. Yeah. And I was using symbols, and, 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 and you know, now I was like, fuck, I don't remember that stuff no more at all. But <laughs> but I remember, I, you know, I would know, like, hey, that means E flat, that means right. G. And that means, you know, you know what I mean? I, I knew the little symbols somehow back then, which is learning. And uh, But the point is, I, I think starting – with music back then, it kind of gave me like a little bit of um, um, like the basics for the future, you know. Totally. Even though, you know, even though it's not metal, but there's still like you know like a musical concept, you know, that, that kind of a uh, oh, it's totally. know, the basics are still there for us, you know. I didn't it take away that time. I, I didn't take any music classes, you know, unfortunately. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's but, very um, helpful. You know, it, it can really help you craft something for maybe even darker. And you know, honestly, I that's so that's interesting that you bring that up because uh, what I'm also because clearly there's like that well, you know that point you know, is like attenuation, right? So like, but you know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I'm just kind of like a little flashback. No, as far it. as like the moment, like I think you're asking for when was that moment that fucking you're gonna do sadistic intent, right? I guess so. Well, that happened, <laughs> I, I, you know, after, um, you know, after graduation, culmination from junior high school, uh, you know, I used to go to Nimitz in, in Huntington Park. Um, you know, then I went to Bell High School. And, um, you know, I remember walking into school and all these fucking metalheads, like long ass hair, and the metal chicks, you know, with the fucking studded bells, the spandex. So it was just like 80s style. Right. And all the metal shirts, there's a bunch of metal shirts. Oh shit! Oh cool, fuck yeah! <laughs> um, and, and anyways, so, so I remember back then, um, I had a Photoshop, and they used to mix the grade levels back then. So you had a, um, you had ninth grade, tenth grade, eleventh grade, and twelfth grade all in one class. Right. And I remember there was this uh, this guy in the class, um, and he had a, a, a leather jacket, a denim vest cut off, you know. The, the jean jacket, and he had a big Venom black metal pin. And uh, I still remember, like, looking at that. I was like, hey, that, that shit looks pretty satanic. So I asked him, hey, dude, you ever heard of Slayer? And he's like, yeah, my brother's in the band. I'm like, what? Oh, shit. And he's like, oh, you don't believe me? He takes out his wallet, and then he takes out his ID. He gives me his ID. It was John Araya. Wow. I'm like, oh, shit, that's your brother. <laughs> and uh, he's like, you like Slayer? I'm like, fuck yeah. Is that the dude that did Blood Come? Or is that Tom Araya? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. We, was, we Blood Come a band, was Blood Come a band yet? Not yet. Not at first. Okay. That came a little bit after. Yeah. I remember John, you know, he was passing on flyers one day. Uh, it was a Slayer show. You know, my brother's playing Slayer and, you know, getting out the flyers and metalheads in school. And I got one of the flyers. Oh, check it. And, and, and I, I still remember it, it basically uh, uh, had the Slayer logo with the pentagram, you know, the swords. And it said, the fastest and heaviest metal band in the USA. <laughs> and I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> and back so- then, I never thought about it, right? But <laughs> when I read that, it just kind of like, it was so inspiring. And I was like, fuck, that's cool. That means from L.A., to New York, to Chicago, to Florida, to Texas, Ohio. <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah. Slayer. These guys are the fastest, the fucking heaviest band. Right, right. And I said, like, hey, you know, babe, fuck that. We're going to start a band. We're going to be the fastest. We're going to be the heaviest. Come on, let's do this <laughs> shit. Let's start a band. And that was the moment. That was the very moment right there. But it's not magic, you know? 
Right. Um, it takes a while to, you know, you got to get all your gear, you know, and it's not cheap, <laughs> you know. Um, like base, base, base yeah, not, not, not only that, you got to learn how to play. Yeah, you got yeah, you got to pretty much, you know, <laughs> there. So it's like, a, you know, by, that was the, that was 1984. So by, by the time we got our shit together to, to like, we felt comfortable to fl- play in front of people, it was uh, 1986. So that's when we first started playing in front of people back then. So Sadistic's essentially your first and only band? Yeah, I can do the band. No, we started off, uh, we, we were also, before Sadistic and Town, we were in a band called Devastation. Oh, really? Um, yeah, 